Hello everybody, it's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at Talent Trade Ferroglyph. Now, I need you guys to realize I don't want to shard this, because I'm borrowing it. <laughs> I sharded this for the stats it's going to need, but I'll explain what this thing does. And of course, I'm not going to be using like the best version of it, but this is what I have. I'm so sorry you have to look at this, but I don't have shards, I'm broke, and all the shard dealers are greedy, so that's what we're dealing with today. Basically, um, with 8 HP, it's just leftovers that we have with 92 energy, which lets us use um, one talent trade, two piece of mines, um, two psycho blast, and two shrew blast. Basically, two of all of our moves besides talent trade, and basically here we're going to be using idiosyncratic with talent trade, and we're also ranged. So it's going to be very interesting. Now you can totally use, um, you can use talent trade three attacks with boulder blast and stuff, but I want that range attack. Um, I might switch it out and instead of peace of mind, I use boulder blast, which it wouldn't change the set at all, like at all, because they both cost 25. So I could totally do that. Probably might do that instead of peace of mind. So you can go for that. You can use this or boulder blast, but I'm probably going to go boulder blast. Anyway, I'm excited. Hope you are as well. And let's just hop into the first battle. All right, and here we go into the first battle. Now, this one I'm going to be using, I switched it out for Boulder Blast. Now, the reason I switched it out for Boulder Blast is because I'm using Ferglyph as um, a teammate with Whipple Drifts, like a bequeath and stuff. If you're using this thing as a solo unit, I would recommend you just uh, use Peace of Mind instead. And I do really, really like how good Ferglyph is going to be here. If we can get, if we actually lead off, we could lead off actually and just talent trade instantly. <sighs> we could totally do that. And we can actually mess up Samarine if we play right. Definitely going to be bringing you. Um, going to be bringing you. And I want to bring... I want to bring... going to bring you so we don't lose just Nagu. Um, and this also is able to somewhat deal good damage versus Mocho. And I'm bringing you so we don't die to Mocho. So we're going to be using Fairglyph here as a solo unit. So Peace of Mind would have been a better option here. But that's totally fine. You're still coming in. That's totally fine. Although I definitely see Shadow Sprint coming out. Um, I can talent trade and completely get rid of its um, if its ability, but I don't think that's really going to matter. So, probably just going to go into Sumabito. I don't really want to click any of my attacking moves because I'm idiosyncratic and I need to click talent trade. So, I needed a good lead there. I was hoping he would go lead off with uh, something better. That's bad. I thought he would slap down. That isn't... Why did I do that? For some reason, I thought that, that Sumabito could hit your soul. I haven't played in a little bit, okay? I, let, let me get my groove back, and I'll, I'll be good after. Okay, I'll just click Toxoblast. Goodness gracious. Ste oh. Oh, no. Isn't that permanent, or is that just, like, one turn? Steel Trap. Okay, well... I'll just rejuvenate. I don't really know what his plan was, but... Alright. Looking good there. So now let's just go for a Toxoblast. And down goes your soul. I don't ask me why I decided to send in Sumabito. I, I thought that for some reason I would live and hit it. But I didn't. Just don't ask me what was going through my mind there. I don't know what was going through my mind. Samarine is a little scary. Um, but we'll be fine, because we should take this really well. Not as well as I wanted to, but paralysis plus a flinch and a full paralyze, I bet. That's totally fine. And it actually gets it very, very, very low, which is really, really good for us. And we'll be totally fine going in against this, because, I mean, I'm kind of scared going against this thing. Although I know Elephage can, t can deal with it. Why did he get a paralysis and then a crit back to back? I bet that crit was also a crit flinch. Okay. So now, I actually can go into Feral Glyph. And I can just Boulder Blast and kill this thing. Type Idio, and it won't deal that much damage. It won't deal a lot. Or, yeah, I'm going to go into Feral Glyph because it won't deal a lot of damage to me. That or I could Talent Train, Rev Up, and then try to outspeed it. I don't think my plus one outspeeds him, but let's go for Boulder Blast and kill this thing. And he's just going to plunge. That's totally fine. Alright, I'll just go for Boulder Blast. We'll be fine here, right? We should we should take this because we are Idio. Yeah, we're Idio, so we good. We take it. 
Down goes the Samarine. Okay, nice. Down goes that Samarine. Okay. I was going to use Health Amulet on this thing, then I realized everyone hates it when I use Health Amulet on things. Okay. Wendelin comes in, which is pretty bad. Um, but we should be able to... I'm not sure if we can deal with it with Stratus. Or this game just wasn't very good for me, to be honest. Um, like a talent trade. Give it Idio and it's going to be really bad. But I don't know. I live that, actually. No, I don't. I thought I lived that. Okay. Well, we're going to try this again, shall we? All right. And here we go. Into the next battle. Okay. Um. I mean, we could totally um lead off and try to um, talent trade instantly. Could totally work. Um, Going to bring you so we don't die to Eclipse. Um, a little worried about the Zulong. We should be able to deal with it relatively well, I'm hoping. Um, I do like Cosmior, um, but it's just Valkyrie I'm a little worried about. Let's bring, let's bring you. I mean, all our things that can hit Valkyrie are going to be here, so. I'll bring you, and I don't really want to die to Joltooth, so. Probably going to do this, actually. This, this seems to work. Although, Ferroglyph could sweep here. Except versus Medi. Actually, it could sweep with Medi. We could lead off with Whipple. Mm, I'm going to die to the uh, Avatross anyway, so it's fine. I'll die to Avatross anyway, so. Ooh. 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 Okay. Let's go instantly for our talent trade. Specs. And he now has Idio. Which means he's not going to do anything to me. All right. Nice. Let's go for Boulder Blast. That's why I think this thing could be really fun. And really gimmicky. You know? Well, that did nothing. Well, I just... Paragos just isn't good. <laughs> just in general, it's not good. But this gimmick is funny. So... Now I should have, since I talent traded, I have 145 range attack, which really isn't that good when you think about it in a realistic standpoint. Could this beat it? Could this magnify and set up on Medi? Then I could do it, give it to Pharaoh, and I could win by there, right? I could win that way. I think I could win that way. I don't think this does that much damage. It doesn't do that much. It does a little bit, but it doesn't do that much. So what I'm going to do is magnify then i'm gonna photo okay go for cycle i live that perfect now what i'm gonna do is go for a photosynthesis perfect now if we want we were we're gonna be able to talent trade to this thing to our ferroglyph but we're gonna have to play this right Okay, so now let's go for a air blade. Best case scenario is if he flails. That's best case scenario. Best, best, best case scenario is if he flails. He's actually going to switch into Avatross, which we're actually going to be able to kill this thing, which is really nice because we're plus two. We're going to be at plus one now. He can't outspeed us at plus one, I don't think. He won't even be at plus one either. Okay, so let's go for another Airblade. Oh, it's... That is so lame on, like, a thousand levels, but I still outspeed it. Is it Rev Up? It's not even Rev Up. Do I even die? Oh, it is Rev Up. Okay, I was going to say. Okay, do I even die to the Nosedive? I have a lot of melee defense. Nothing isn't brawn boosted. I'm going to risk it. Go for my bequeath. I might live. I did. Perfect. Okay. Exactly what I wanted. My speed rises. I bequeath. And now my Ferroglyph is plus three. And plus two. So we actually should be able to get our sweep with Ferroglyph here. We should, in theory. Let's go into Ferroglyph. And now we go for Psychoblast. Dude. I swear, if I die because he's dodging, he's dodge spamming. If I die because he's spamming dodge, 
with Avatross. I'm going to be a little upset. Just a little bit. Thank goodness. I outsped him naturally. Okay. We were at the same speed tier. We were at the same speed tier. That's what happened. Or the same speed in general. Well, this thing can't do anything to me, so I can just rest. Totally fine with resting against this thing. And Faraglyph should be able to do some really good work now. Go for Boulder Blast. That still does like nothing. That's my only problem with this thing is that it just, just, it just doesn't do a lot of damage. Now, the reason I'm using Boulder Blast is so then I can hit Metal types. Because my Mind and Ancient can't hit Metal and Earth can. So that's why I'm using that. Faraglyph is just a really interesting case of a Lumi. Like, I, it could be good. If he's using, like, Smart Temper, it probably could be really good. But I just don't really see it being very good at all. Like, in general, I just don't see it being very good. Joltooth comes in. Um, now, <laughs> the question is, does a plus two Faroglyph versus a Joltooth... Let me just go, um, Boulder Blast... Boulder Blast kills with three hits. Shrewd Blast could kill with it, uh, with enough. That I could straight up talent trade, give this thing specs, and I steal its ability. But I don't really want to do that. Um, I definitely think we could kill it. Like, 100% could kill this thing. Because we are specs, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I totally think we can kill this thing. I definitely think that we can. Let me see what my attack is neutrally. I am 40. And 40. I'm totally fine with this, dude. I can totally... It's Shrewder. It's Shrewder Boulder. Which I think... Bol Shrewd is probably my best bet. I mean, Shrewd has a 75% uh, chance to kill. And higher chance to crit. So I think Shrewd Blast is my best idea. Darn it. It didn't work. Ugh, it was a 75% chance to kill. It didn't work. That should be fine, though. We should be able to win with Sumabito. So, let's just go for a counter stance. Down goes Joltooth. Okay. Falkyrie comes in. And here, I can just bulk up on his Magnify. Or Armor Down. Now what I'm going to do is bamboozle on his magnify because he's going to be like, he's going to counter stance now. Or just he's going to get him full. So that's totally fine. We should 100% live this. 100% live this. He's going to bamboozle. And down goes the Falkyrie. <laughs> that's why I have bamboozle, man. <laughs> that's why I got bamboozle. Also beats Nimere. Zulong? Yeah, there's the Zulong. Alright, and I'm pretty sure we might win here. Let's go for a counter stance and just hit the Zulong. And he's gonna Ancient Roar. Seriously? You're gonna Ancient Roar. Haze. Seriously. I'm going to parasitize. He makes me go for another counter stance. Okay. I don't understand what this guy was planning on doing. I don't think I'll ever understand what the guy's mindset was going through there. Like, I don't think I ever will. Um, although I'm fairly... I think Stratosaur lives. Um, although I'm not max HP, so I, don't, I might not live. Um, yeah, I lived. Okay. We good in the neighborhood. And down goes the Zulong. Alright, good game, good game. The Fairgrounds actually did some good work there, and I'm very happy about it. Let's off to the next battle. Alright, and here we go. Into the next battle. Now here, Fairgrounds is also really, really good here. Only problem is probably Metronet is a little bit of an issue. Uh, we sh hopefully should be able to deal with it fine. Um, too many metal types. We're gonna bring this so we don't lose to wrestle in. Uh, I want to lead off. I could actually beat their entire team using this. I could probably win, beat their whole team doing that. I'm gonna try to beat their whole team using the Faraglyph strategy again. I'm gonna bring you because I think Sumabito is like 
Very, very good here for no reason. <laughs> Why is it really good here? <laughs> for no reason, it's good. <laughs> okay. Um. And then it's who who should be sacked to Metro. <laughs> Let's go you, because like, we have Rageful Plush and we live a Dark Surge and we can just Gamma Pulse. <laughs> Although I don't think Brittany's very good here at all. I think it's... Mm, no, we probably need you so we don't lose to the to Clips. We're going to see how well this works. Protagon comes in. That's going to get a range attack boost, which is very, very, very bad. We don't really have a Protagon counter to this on our team here. So, we are just going to have to uh, Airblade for Chip then. Metallic Blast. Okay. That's fine. Airblade, so we get speed boost. And what we can do is, if I had dodge, we could actually bequeath the next, next turn. I'm going to photo. If he swaps, that'd be great. He doesn't. So I'm going to photo. Heal back up. And then he's going to go for another Metal Blast, I'd assume. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to stall out his Metal Blasts. So I'm just going to photosynthesis again. And I'm healing back up. I'm going to go for another Metal Blast. I don't think I actually am going to live the attack here, but I stalled it out for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> I could go into Stratosaur, then go back into Whipple Drift and just stall. I'm trying to stall as much as I can, but I don't think I can do it anymore. I'm just going to have to Airblade just for the littlest bit of chip that I can get. Well, that was unfortunate, but it happens. Sometimes we don't get the best leads, and then we realize that something kills us way too late. Okay. Now what we can do is go to Sumabito. And Sumabito is really, really good here, so I'm totally going to be abusing how, how good it is. So I'm going to go for a counter stance. He's most likely going to not attack. Oh, he does. Okay, so down goes Protagon, which is really, really good. Okay, so it depends what he sends in next, which might be Nevermare, which it might not be Nevermare. I'd assume it would be Nevermare because he's, he's played very offensive so far because I got a really bad lead. Could still use the Ferroglyph, though. We could Talent Trade on the Nevermare, which would be able to live because we're idiosyncratic. It is Nevermare, okay. He's hoping for a crit, which hopefully we don't give it to him. Um, I'm going to risk the crit and just para. Our only chance at killing Metronet is going to be risked on a crit, and he did get it. <sighs> of course he did. It's a 50-50, and he got it. Okay, I'm going to go to Pharaoh and make this Nevermare utterly terrible. I'm going to Talent Trade. Or I can just get one hit again. Oh my god. Okay, after everything went catastrophically wrong, I decided to switch a few things around and I ended up with this. And I think it was a really good idea because now I can pretty much I can beat a lot of what this guy has. So I'm happy about that. Okay, so I'm going to bring Nimere because Nimere seems really good here. I just have to get rid of the Eligawana. Going to bring you so I can beat Garbantis. Um, I could get the sweep here. I could. It does look definitely possible. So, I'm going to have these in the back. And that's who I want to lead with is the question. Well, I, I Stratosaur just kind of beats everything he has. But it's re it's also the Eligawana, which I'm a little bit worried about. So, I could totally bring Elig I mean, Venolan to beat Eligawana. I'm actually going to bring Sumabito. I like Sumabito, honestly. One of my more favored Lumians. All right, Garbantis versus Sumabito. And I can just bulk up, right? Because he's probably going to go into, like, uh, Obsy. He provokes. He knows. He knows. Okay, so I'm, then just because of that, I'm going to go into Stratosaur. Because I don't want to lose Subsidigon. <laughs> Resolan actually comes in. 
Okay. That is totally, 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 totally fine. Because we have Brittany, or actually Ferroglyph, could switch in. And we can talent trade. If we do that, this wrestling's literally going to be useless. Like, literally useless if I do this right. But I have to do, I have to do this right, that is. Gonna switch. He's gonna adaptive, most likely. Gonna blaze. So, let's go for our talent trade. He's, he's very brawny. You can tell he's very brawny. Switching into Elagawana. And we're gonna talent trade. And now suddenly, if I'm if he's lightning rod, prismatic actually. Idiosyncratic. Okay. So, because of that knowledge, I wish I brought Venelin now, but it's totally fine. I'll go into Sumabito. He's gonna tase. All right. Now he's most likely going to flash and flee. So, I'm going to force him to go into something I, he doesn't want to go into. And then he just goes back into Eliguana. Because Eliguana can beat Nimere. I need the Whiffle Drift thing to work. The Whiffle Drift can totally work here. That's the thing. Can totally work. Unless he forgot of Sidragon, which would be absolutely hilarious. But I'm going to double into Nimre on his switch. Because I don't think he would want to take this damage. Because I could bamboozle him if I'm, if he does stay in. But I didn't. I doubled. <laughs> mm -hmm. This guy's taking a little bit to think about it. Taking, taking a little bit of time. But now that he's Idio, he quite literally can't deal like much damage at all. Which is really good. So this Eliguana is, is, is... Hello? Dude, don't timer stall. Watch him click it at like one second. Okay. I don't really know what happened to that guy, but he probably disconnected, unfortunately. Um, but it's fine. We'll, we'll, we'll get some uh, more good battles in. Okay. I don't like Obsidragon. Why is Obsidragon everywhere again? Like, I don't understand. It's not good. Body Crash good buff. Yeah, but it's just not that good. Okay, I'll go to you. Nimre can resist all of his stab combos, though, so I can totally go into this go into use so we don't completely lose to the dumb and stupid hunter um Farragut could do its sweep here it totally could I'm bring use so we don't lose to the mocho I can totally bring Farragut I'm gonna try to lead I want to lead off of it but he probably knows that I'm using um I could do this I, um, I'm probably gonna lead, do an offensively and do that right yeah i'm gonna try this this will probably work um i feel like that's gonna be more of a support and destroying other things so he's gonna switch into skellic now i'm pretty sure he saw what i'm using so he's gonna switch out and he's gonna go into um i'm gonna assume to clips because i saw this guy was watching me so he probably knows exactly what i'm doing but it doesn't really even matter if he knows so, I'm going to go into Stratosaur. On his switch into Teclips. Or he just straight up drudges. Okay. That's fine as well. That's totally fine. Now he's going to go into Teashinu. Okay. That's fine as well. Can't I break this with my mag? 
Pretty sure I can break this with Magnify. Ah, he can't stay in here, dude. He can't. I'm pretty sure I break this with Magnify. I'm pretty sure my plus four kills Teashinu. He can't do anything. Jetstream, right? I'm pretty sure I kill it. Oh, yeah. I definitely kill this. I'm just going to go ahead and... I, I don't want to die, actually. I'm just going to wait, perch, and then rest again, probably. Find spot batter. Let's go for our perch. I'm giving him a free opportunity to use Bequeath, though. If he has Bequeath. He might not be Bequeath, though. Bulk up three attacks, probably. I'm going to rest and play it risky. Although, it doesn't matter if this thing dies. Okay. And now I can perch. <laughs> Perfect, and he's going to flail, and it's not going to do anything to me. Perfect, and now I can just go for one more perch, be at max health with a little bit of energy. He's going to wait, actually. Okay, so he played it smart there. He wasn't going to flail. So let's perch. Now I can rest, then I can attack one more time, and we can kill Teoshinyu. Teoshinyu, maybe? Teoshinyu? 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 I don't know why he did that. I do not know why he went for bulk up there. That was really dumb. That was very dumb because I outspeed him. I don't really know why he did that. But it's totally fine. <laughs> okay. So I'm totally fine with that. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's he going to go into? Hunter, well, that was pretty abundantly obvious. All right, let's go to Krakaloa. Krakaloa, Krakaloa, I don't know. Do, 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 do. All right, I'm going to go for a Raging Flame. Is he seriously trying to break a very robust Krakaloa? Burn it. Didn't burn it. That's totally fine. I'm just going to Mud Spatter then. I don't really care how Krak Krakalo Krakaloa dies. I'm really only here to beat the Thunder. I could have all... Oh, okay, that's best case scenario that I avoided that. Because the Hunter's going to go down here. There we go. Nice. Hunter's dead. So I assume now he's going to Skellic and Aqua Jaws. And I actually live, I'm pretty sure. I might live. It's Stab. 100 attack, right? Oh, I probably don't live. Although Skellic does come in. And I'll just go for Raging Flame and try to burn it. Because that would be really good if I could burn this thing. Well, it might just go for Drudge. But if it goes for Drudge, that's totally fine. Yeah, he's just going to go for Drudge. I'm, if I burn it here, it's over. I didn't burn it. It's a 50% chance! It's 50! 50% 50 chance to burn. 50 there we go. Water types can get burned. I know that they can. My goodness. I know this game well enough to work. Hi, Gonzi. I actually lived that because of the burn. Because of the burn, I lived that. Now I'm going to get to minus one. That's fine. It's burned. We'll be fine. It's only at plus four, right? Okay. Okay. I forgot... Combative was an ability, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be completely honest, I forgot combative was an ability. I totally forgot combative was an ability. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do here. Can I just go sumo? Pretty sure I can just go sumo veto. And I can just counter stance. Yeah, down goes the skeleton. All right, Skellic goes down, and we can still use the Ferroglyph. We can still use Ferroglyph. Do not worry about that. We're going to still try to use this Ferroglyph. And he's going to go into Obsy. Okay. Now, what we can do is go into Ferroglyph, right? And Talent Trade, so we, can, we get rid of its resilience. Mm -hmm. 
Pretty sure I talent traded the Eliguana earlier. If I talent trade again, he's now going to have... Oh, he's going to have Prismatic, actually. He's going to have Prismatic. Was that last game? No, that was last game. All right, now I have Resilience, so now every time he hits me... Okay. Now let's just go for Shrew Blast. Nice. See, now we crippled the Obsy. We've crippled it. He tried to hit me with a body crash, right? Or what did he use? I was not looking at what just happened. Nice, the crit damage. That's really good. Primal Slash, not going to do anything because I have Resilience. There we go. Now we are... I, I just... Health Amulet, obviously. Seriously? All right, I'm going to just go for Shrew Blast. And now I have one more attack. Or just probably like no more HP, but I, I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, I hit 9,000 subscribers. Oh. Oh, literally in this video. To Clips. He waited this long to use to Clips. All right, I'm going to Boulder Blast. If I outspeed it, I'm going to get a little bit of chip. Just before... Yeah, a little bit of chip. Trust, it's a little bit. That's five hits. That's not bad. Dark Surge. Down goes the Ferroglyph. Although, Ferroglyph did quite a lot, I'm going to be honest. I live that now because I have Shade... No, I don't live it because I had Shade Pearl. I thought I might have been able to live it because I had Shade Pearl, but I did not live it because I don't have Shade Pearl anymore. All right, I'm just going to go Sumavito. It does not matter because I have Shadowsaur and Brittany and Sumavito live, all of which can completely beat to Clips. I'm just going to go for a dice. And the game is going to end. GG. 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 Well, anyway, that that game went pretty, pretty well. I'm very happy over it. And overall, very, very fun. Um, very fun game. And yeah, I think Faraglyph is just a very interesting, um, very interesting Lumion. Idiosyncratic with talent trade and these moves. It's, it's, it's weird. It's a weird, weird Lumion. I don't think it's very good, but talent trade is a pretty cool buff on it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye